This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dopemotions.com and in today's After Effects tutorial, we will create a very dynamic looking logo animation inside of After Effects without using any plugins. Everything that you see right now is made inside of After Effects, 100% After Effects, no plugins required. So we will take a look at various different techniques throughout this complete tutorial. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the end of this video and you don't skip on anything. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. All the links are in the description below. With that said, let's jump into After Effects and let's get started with today's tutorial. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's go with 1920 by 1080. 30 fps and 10 seconds long let's call this render as our main render comp hit ok then let's create one more composition which is going to be a title placeholder you can also use a logo if you want to i'm gonna just call this title hit ok so let's start by building up our complete title design so i'll select the text tool and type in the text that i want i'm gonna type in space you can of course type in anything that you want let's increase the size to around 100 and for the font i will go with babies new bold which is a very nice font let's set the spacing to zero align this into the center and i think i'm gonna increase this to around 250 yeah that looks uh, much better i think or maybe 300 now let's go ahead and add some depth to our text so to do that i'm going to select the text layer right click go into the layer styles and let's add a gradient overlay then let's go into gradient overlay edit gradient i'm gonna drag this point right over here just like that and let's click to create a new point and make this a nice gray color for this one again i'm gonna go with a nice darkish gray color and then drag this point and as you can see right here how it manipulates our text and how it looks Again, I'm going to make this a bit gray. And as you can see, this adds a bit more depth to the complete text. I think I'm going to keep this white. And let's keep this white as well. For this one, let's actually make this a bit gray. So let's set the location to somewhere around 14. Oh, let's go into edit gradients. Select this one. And let's pull this to somewhere around 75% and make this a bit gray as well. Let's set this location of this one to around 50. And that is looking much better. There we go. Now it's looking pretty nice. Then let's select the layer again. Right click, go into layer style. And this time I'm going to add bevel and emboss. Let's go into the bevel and emboss options and set the size to 2. So now you can see we have a nice depth into our text, but to take it one step further, I can select the layer, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Put the second one right here. We can change the layer color to yellow so that we know it's a second layer. Select the layer, hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and set this one to 98%. So now you can see it adds a bit more depth, but it's not, but it's not quite right yet. So I'm gonna go and select the layer, hit U two times to reveal the properties especially the edit gradient property and then pull this one right over here this one right here just like so and also you know adjust this point that is a color midpoint just like that and for this one i'm gonna make this a nice black color and this one i'll make it a white color and now you can see right here we get some really nice depth into our text maybe black is a bit too harsh so let's go with a nice gray stone. Yep, something like that. And as you can see, now we have 
much more depth into our text and it's looking pretty nice. So our text is ready or you can also add that X that you saw into the example. So I'm going to quickly do that. I'm going to select the text tool, type in X. Let's increase the size really high. Align this into the center. That's way too big. Something like this. Place this at the back and I'm going to select the rectangle tool and simply create a mask like this. And click on invert. So we have our X. We can simply copy the layer styles from here. So I'll select the layer styles, hit control C and hit control V to paste it onto our X. And that is looking pretty sweet. Maybe I'll, I need to adjust the mask a little bit. So I'll drag the points just like that. And that's looking pretty nice. Now let's go ahead and create our revealing animation. So to create that nice reveal first, we need to create a shockwave kind of a mask in order to use this as a track mat. So I'm going to create a new composition called this. Um, let's call this mat. Hit OK. Then hit Control Y to create a new solid called this um, layer. Basically, I'm going to make this white. Hit OK. And then from the center, I will create a circular mask by using Eclipse tool. So I'll select this, he'll hold Alt, Control and Shift at the same time to create a mask like so. And I'll make this a red color mask. And then we can duplicate this, hit Control D to duplicate it. So the second mask, I'll change the color to something like yellow. And hit Control T to bring up the transform property. And let's make this smaller. So I can just go into the corner, hold Alt, Control and Shift again at the same time. And I'm gonna make this a bit smaller like that. Then I select the layer, hit F to bring down the mask feather properties. Feather the red one, the red mask at five per five pixels, and feather the yellow mask at one fifty pixels. Then I would change the yellow mask to subtract, and boom, we have a very cool look. And now we need to create this or turn this into a shock wave. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a keyframe on the mask path of both the mask. Now I'm going to go at around six seconds, create a keyframe on the mask path of both the mask, select both the mask and hit control T to bring up the transform properties. And right here from the corner, I'm going to hold Alt, shift and control at the same time and pull this out of the frame. So now we have a keyframe right here. Go at the very start again, select both the mask again, hit control T and make them really small until and unless it's hardly visible something like this and I can just simply move them one frame forward. So now we have something like this, which looks like a really cool shock wave. But to take this one step further, what I can do is I'm going to select the layer, go into fix and preset and search for turbulence displays. Let's bring down the amount or increase the amount to around 70% and bring down the size to around Maybe 16 or 18 should be good. Let's actually go with 14, I think. Yeah. Then let's increase the complexity all the way up to 10. And now we have a really cool kind of a shock wavy effect. It looks pretty damn cool. Actually, you can always play around with the mask feather in order to change the way the effect looks. So I'll set this to around 200, I guess that looks much better. So our shockwave mat is ready. Now let's start building up our complete scene. So I'm going to create a new composition called this scene build or build scene, whatever that you want to call it. Hit OK. Now let's drag the title composition right here. And then on the top of that, I'm going to drag the mat composition. Hit F4 and change the track mat of this one to alpha mat. So now we have this really cool look as you can see pretty nice now let's add a very cool effect on this known as the card wipe effect and i'm going to go at the very start and set the transition completion to 50 percent all right bring down the transition width to 20 percent set the back layers to none and let's increase the rows by rows to around 50 and increase the columns to around 20 
then i'll change the rows and columns to columns follow rows set the flip axis to random and the flip direction to random as well set this one the gradient layer to none and then let's go into the rotation jitter and create some animation here so let's create a keyframe on the x rotation jitter speed y rotation jitter amount y rotation jitter speed and z rotation jitter amount let's set the x rotation jitter speed to around 3 3 should be fine increase the jitter amount to around 60 which would be pretty intense and let's increase the jitter speed of y to 2.5 and the z rotation jitter amount to around let's go something like 8 all right i can hit u so we can see the keyframes then i'll go to around let's say 2 second and 15 frames and bring everything down to 1 now we can see the animation is only happening from the right side so i believe we need to change the back layer to title so now it appears properly and that is looking pretty nice now let's go into effects and preset again let's add some color to this so i'm going to add a fill double click to apply that and you can add whichever color that you like i'm going to go with a nice kind of a purplish color it looks pretty cool and finally on this I, I want to add some nice glow so i can use the default glow from after effects let's increase the glow threshold to 70 percent and glow radius to 20 and increase the glow intensity to around 2 now i will hold alt and switch to 16 bits per channel which will help us to achieve some nice glows inside of after effects and as you can see it is already looking pretty damn cool all right that is looking pretty good maybe i'll bring down the jitter the y rotation jitter amount to around 40 or something that should be fine now let's create a keyframe on the transition completion at zero let's go to two second and 15 frames and set this to zero so now we have a very nice look as you can see but i think i would set this to around three seconds i think so as you can see it's looking pretty nice maybe i'll tweak the feather a bit so i'm gonna hit f and bring down the feather to 150 let's go back into our scene build and that is what i am looking for all right that is looking much better now select both the layers hit ctrl d to duplicate it and we can change the color of these two layers to a different color and then go at around maybe let's say 10 seconds and move these two layers forward by 10 seconds so we have a nice overlap of two different layers which looks pretty cool now let's select this one and i'm going to use a really interesting effect on this called the cc ball action and bring down the grid spacing to two and the ball size to around 40. we get this really nice effect i think looks pretty damn cool as you can see pretty nice now i can simply select these four layers hit ctrl d to duplicate them and make them a bit more intense i can also select these titles and change the blending mode to add so that they look a bit more brighter here and we get a really interesting look pretty awesome i think 10 frames is a bit too much so i'll go to around five frames and move them forward by only five frames so now you can see we get a really interesting revealing animation before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey Skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing and more. Skillshare offers class designed for real life so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of the Skillshare Premium Membership. 
now I'm gonna select the title composition and drag and drop it right here we can change the color to something like a red one so we know that again it's a different color it's a different layer I'll go to around 10 frames and move this right over here select any title copy the card wipe effect hit control C and hit control V to paste it and it looks pretty weird at the moment so to fix this what I'm gonna do is change the back layer to none and let's go into fix and preset and use a simple linear wipe double click to apply this we can also solo this up and then um, let's set the transition completion to 50 percent and then let's change the wide angle to minus 90 degrees so now we have a really nice reveal as you can see looks pretty cool let's duplicate this hit control d and then let's rotate this at 90 degrees and let's change this from right to left so now we have a really nice reveal pretty cool so now let's turn everything on and now if i preview this you can see we get a really nice look maybe i'll increase the keyframes timing of the keyframes a bit more so i'm gonna hit u let's make some room right here select the keyframes and drag them a bit more forward in time so now it happens a bit more slowly now let's go to around two seconds i'm going to select the title layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm going to delete everything like the card wipe the linear wipe just the just the text and then hit t to bring down the opacity create a keyframe go right here and set this to zero let's select the keyframes and i'm going to hit f9 to easy ease them so it animates like so let's see where let's see where it ends so somewhere around there and then maybe i'll bring this a bit more closer we have this nice animation i'm going to take a copy from here so i'll um, select the mat and the title copy hit ctrl d to duplicate them pull them at the top and i'm going to add kind of a shock wavy effect on top right here So we have this really nice overlay as you can see it looks pretty damn cool now let's preview our complete animation and as you can see it's looking pretty nice now fi to finalize this animation there are a couple of things that you can do first is let's go into render com drag and drop in the scene build Let's add a nice background for this. So I'm going to hit control Y, call this BG for background. Let's make this black. Put this at the back. Let's go into the effects and preset, search for ramp. Let's add a gradient ramp. I'm going to change this to radial ramp and increase the ramp scatter to 150 to avoid any kind of color bendings. Swap the colors. And for this white one, I'm going to go with a nice purplish color. This is looking pretty nice i think and finally i will create a new adjustment layer called this noise and basically go into effects and preset and add a simple noise that this will help us to avoid any kind of color bendings that we may get with the animation and boom there we have our cool space title animation ready to roll now using this method you can create some really interesting look you can even make it a bit more complex by adding more and more layers for example i can go into the scene build i can actually select the smart layers pull them back a little bit let's create a duplicate of this so hit ctrl d to duplicate them let's add a make this a different color pull them at the start like so and i can go at the very start somewhere around there let's solo this up actually first of all so that we know what we are working on all right let's um delete the cc ball action and i will change the color to a different one maybe something like a blue color i don't know and if i unsolo this up just by adding one layer you can see we have added a bit more complexity and it looks pretty damn cool you can obviously change the color to a different one maybe make it a red or a white i don't know you can play around with this you can also try out um different different effects on this so i can even add something like a venetial blinds on this you know let's solo this up again so we can see what's happening here 
let's add this like so rotate this a bit and you know you can get creative with this basically you know you can make it look even more complex than it is pretty awesome and the best part about this effect is you can anytime jump into the title you can change the title if you want and yes one thing that you need to keep in mind here is you can also link the titles link the text basically so all you have to do is hold alt and click on the source text and then link this to the source text of the first text and now if i change this one to something like future the second text is going to get updated automatically and boom there we go so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i know this is a bit long tutorial than my usual ones but there were so many different things that we had to cover so i hope you guys have enjoyed it and if you enjoyed it make sure you do let me know in the comment section below and follow me on instagram to show your support and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out